FBI-FGate documents reveal connection between Lee Harvey Oswald and America's greatest enemy. This week, President Trump approved the release of documents related to the assassination of President John F. Kennedy. Americans have been clamoring to see these documents for decades, but only President Trump has been willing to release them to the world. Right now, people are combing over the 3,000-plus documents. Already we are learning eye-opening facts about one of the darkest moments of American history. One of the most telling is a memo that discovered a close relationship between assassin Oswald and this group. Perhaps it casts light on the very assassination itself. From Breitbart, Bart The trove of Kennedy assassination documents released by the federal government on Thursday includes a memorandum indicating communication between Lee Harvey Oswald and prominent members of the Communist Party of the United States of America KPUSA. The November 26, 1963 Memo notes a letter from Oswald to Elizabeth Gurley Flynn, an industrial workers of the world activist and founder of the American Civil Liberties Union who served a prison stint in the 1950s for violating the Smith Act with nearly two dozen other communists. The correspondence between the assassin and the prominent American communists rose to a level well beyond fan mail. Dallas, Texas, PD had leaked the fact that among Oswald's personal effects were some letters on Kapusa stationery dealing with how he should proceed in his activities in the Fair Play for Cuba Committee, and as the informant stated how to handle with noisy neighbors, the memo chronicling the meeting three days after the assassination pointed out. According to the informant, it was apparent that Johnson had not revealed the fact that he had corresponded with Oswald. He then told Hall that there were three letters from Oswald that he had answered. The word noisy may have been a typo meant as nosy and the larger phrase seems to indicate some coded communication. Anyone old enough to see the film JFK knows there are numerous theories about the assassination. Some claim Oswald wasn't the only shooter. Some speculate who was behind the shooting. Some claim it was a massive conspiracy. The refusal by the federal government to release these documents for so long only added to the conspiracy theories. Now we are learning that the killer, Lee Harvey Oswald, had a close relationship with communists, including those with ties to Cuba. Perhaps theories about Cuban involvement in JFK's death are accurate. It's possible that Oswald was contracted by American communists, working with Cuba, to take out Kennedy who was a strong opponent during the Cold War. This memo leads more strength to that theory. More proof that communism has always been a cancer to America. America.